your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. We've had some beautiful weather over the last couple of days, and it's been a while since we've had that many dry days in a row. Now, most of today is also looking dry, but we'll start to be on the lookout uh, for a few raindrops, especially as we head into the afternoon and the evening. But overall, if you're heading out to Freeland for the Walleye Festival, everything's still looking pretty good there. You'll be up to around 46 degrees by 9 o'clock this morning, already into the upper 50s by noon and holding on to the lower 60s by this afternoon. But you will notice all those clouds coming in, and that's actually some rain that will already be moving over the lower peninsula. Peninsula, but it will be working into a lot of that dry air, so actually not reaching the ground uh, just yet during the afternoon. But your weekend as a whole is actually looking not too bad. That rain actually pretty convenient as it comes in during the overnight and the warmer day for this weekend is actually going to be tomorrow. We'll eventually be into the middle and upper 60s there, but again, 60s for both days this weekend. Your wind also a little gusty this weekend, though up to 25 both for today and tomorrow. Now with all that dry weather we've had over the last couple of days, if you're like me, maybe you've noticed your allergies starting to tick up a little bit for today. Those tree allergens, that tree pollen will be on the lower end, but still uh, something that you may notice, especially if you are a little more sensitive to those allergens, but grass and ragweed looking pretty minimal for today and throughout much of this weekend. And actually that rain overnight tonight will actually help to wash away some of those allergens as well. I'm already seeing, starting to see uh, some trees around the area here actually starting to bud as well. Here's a live look out at the Saginaw Bay though this morning from Bay City. A beautiful morning out on the water. Looks like we've just got one uh, fishing boat out there this morning. Everything again and looking pretty good for any uh, weekend activities that you do have planned during the daytime. And you'll see those showers on your first one five pinpoint Doppler live from MBS on the western side of the state already starting to fizzle out as they're just running into all of this dry air. Now your first one five sky tracker has quite a large low pressure system off in the Great Plains at the moment, and we are seeing these bands of showers that are just ejecting into the Great Lakes from this. But again, running into that dry air means that we won't really start to see this picking up until overnight for tonight. So your first one five hour by hour has that rain fizzling out by noon today. Certainly more cloud coverage though. Here we are by around dinner time today, especially if you're in our western locations, places like Harrison, Clare, uh, Wademan, down into Elma and Ithaca too. You'll be on the lookout for just a few of those light showers, but it should just be fairly light. That's going to be more of a primer though for that overnight rain. Here we are at midnight as that rain and a few rumbles of thunder starts to get into our western counties closer to the Tri-Cities and Flint around 2 to 3 o'clock overnight and then moving through the thumb closer to around 5 to 6 o'clock overnight, but then cutting off fairly sharply by tomorrow morning and past just a few isolated showers on your Sunday afternoon will actually break into a little bit of sunshine at times as well. Now this rainfall will total to around a quarter to a half of an inch. Those heavier totals will be where we do have those thunderstorms overnight tonight, but overall this rain not looking to be a very soaking rain, but certainly at least a little bit of rain, especially after the last uh, couple of dry days they get that back down on the lawn. Now your seven day forecast is holding on to upper 50s and lower 60s for this upcoming week and Trevor we're tracking more chances for rain on Tuesday, but overall this upcoming week looking pretty quiet. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Matthew.